Hey guys, welcome to this new series. In this series, we are going to do sign up using OTP in Django and Django REST framework. We'll emphasize more on how to write logic behind OTP that is limiting the user to send continuously only three OTPs or maybe you can do n number of OTPs and then allowing one hour of cooldown time and then again allowing user to send OTP. So this is part one video and in this video, we are going to do project setup and installation of packages, create our user model and and also user manager for that so let's get started so we'll start by creating our virtual environment and once it has created that uh, let me activate it so it is source.env bin activate and we are going to install django so pip install django the code link is already present in the description so you can check the code out and uh, requirement.txt file is also present in the code so now let's install django rest framework now let's create our project so it is django admin start project i'll call it as src as always navigate inside src create an app so django admin start app this will be called as demo and once that is done let's go inside the src src settings.py and let's create few variables over here so first one i'll call it as max otp try max underscore otp underscore try i'm going to allow only three trials you all can put as as many as you all want next we are going to declare the auth mo user model since we are changing means like we are creating a new auth model uh, by extending the old one so that's why we have to uh, declare it over here so auth underscore user underscore model and i'll give it that is demo dot i'll call it as user model so this is the user model that i will create inside demo apps uh, models okay and then i'm going to have one more variable this will be called as mean pass uh, password actually length so this will be eight so minimum password length is eight so that i can use this for validation purpose now let's go down and in installed apps we are going to put demo app so that is the one which we created and then we are going to put rest framework rest framework so our settings.py is ready let's go inside demo dot sorry demo and in models.py let's start by creating our user model so before that we will have to import some um, packages so let's do that so first of all from django.con import settings because we have declared few settings in that then i'm going to do from django.contrib.auth.model import now i'm going to import multiple things first of all abstract base user then base user manager and then we need a uh, permission mixin and then a uh, few more things just for validation purpose so it is from django dot core dot validators import a regex validator and validate email so first i'll create a phone uh, regex validator so i'll call it as phone underscore regex and this will be a regex validator and i'll pass the regex to be uh, the digits only 10 digits acceptable so it is in r and it starts with uh, since digits only digits are allowed so slash d and of length 10 so our regex is ready and what should be the message if this rule is not satisfied then throw this error message so it is phone number must be uh, 10 digits only so our phone uh, validator is ready now let's create our user model so i'll call it as user model it will be class user model and it will be taking abstract user base user and then permission uh, mix in that we imported on top first field i'll create it as phone number because my idea is to send otp and on the mobile number and you all can send it over the email also but i'm going to majorly use phone number so let's do this models dot care field and uh, this will be unique as true because phone number should be unique otherwise this won't really work max length to be uh, 10 null as false blank as false then validator i will uh, in the list i'm going to pass this phone validator so this will be one of the validators 
then next field i'm going to create it as email field this will be models dot email field max length will be of 50 uh, blank can be true and null also can be true and validators we are going to pass this as validate email so this already has email validator so i'm passing that over here now third field i'm going to create is otp this will be models.care field i will give max length of six if you all are creating a four digits then you all can have four otherwise six then there will be otp expiry time so i'll declare that otp expiry this will be a models.date time field models.date time field this can be blank as true and null as true so once otp is like reset i will remove this uh, otp expiry from there and maybe also otp let's think about that later right now let's focus on completing the user model so once this is done let's create another variable called as max otp try so that every user will have instance of uh, this max otp try so as user requests otp uh, this uh, from 3 it will go down to 2 1 and then 0 so we are going to keep track for every user and that will be stored in this so max otp try so this will be again a care field so models dot air field max length of oh sorry this will be max length of two digits and default i'll give it as uh, from the settings <laughs> from the settings uh, dot max so this is taking the default value of uh, max otp try from settings dot by so from here so when user reaches the max otp try we will store that moment's current date and time so that after that we can like uh, set a cooldown period of maybe one hour and allow user to re-request for otp after that one hour so for that i have to keep track of when this max otp try uh, was hit so otp max out so i call it as otp max out and this is models dot uh, date time field and again this can be blank and null as true so i'm going to quickly copy paste it over here now we have to declare few uh, few more attributes so is active uh -huh. Uh, let me clear all this uh, i'm not doing type checking right now so models dot boolean field and this will be default as false so uh, the idea is when user signs up we will send him an otp but before that we are going to register the user in our user model right so for that uh, for the user i will make this uh, is active as false so that he cannot log in without uh, like uh, submitting his otp and activating this now then we will have is uh, staff is staff as models dot boolean field again and again this will be default as false i don't really want every new user to be a staff and then let's have another uh, field called as user registered at registered at and this will be model date time models dot date time field and in this we are going to pass auto add now add as true so it will uh, save the current uh, whenever the object was created that time state time now we have to declare a username field over here attribute over here so user name underscore field i will change this uh, that is from user name to phone number so if you remember whenever we go to login on the admin side or whenever we create a super admin it asks us for username field but that can be overridden over here by giving this username underscore field and i'm passing this phone number so it will be now asking me for phone number then uh, i'm going to return the string annotation uh, this will be taking self and i'm going to return user's phone number okay so self dot phone number so this is for visual purpose and uh, final thing is uh, object we have to declare over here object so it will be user manager that we are going to create now so let's create our user manager class now uh, we'll go on top and it will be class user manager we are going to in, uh, inherit base user manager and we are going to create two methods over here one will be to create super user and another one will be to create user so first let's start by creating the user so this will help uh, basically this will help us to create users and super users from anywhere 
so i'll call it as def create user and this will be taking cell sorry cell phone number and password i'll give this as none so first thing we are going to do is check if phone number is present or not if not phone number that is if phone number is not present raise a value error value error uh, phone number is required otherwise let's create a user so it will be user will be self dot model because this is a user manager so we will have access to um, self dot model and we'll pass in phone number so phone number will be equal to phone number this will be the field and this is the phone number that is passed over here now after this we are going to use user dot set underscore password so this will encrypt and save up set our password and user dot save so we'll be uh, using self dot underscore db so this will save our user and return the user finally now our user method is created let's create another one this will be used to create super admins and this this will be also used uh, when we are using the command line to create the super admin def create super admin super sorry user uh, again over here self uh, comma phone number actually same same thing are required so i'll directly copy paste and then we are going to create user for this okay so what i'm saying is so it will be self dot create user so call the above method and pass the phone number and password from here save it in a variable called as user and then for this user activate uh, everything basically is active will be true so that his account is active uh, user dot is staff will be also true so that he can log in to our admin side user dot sorry uh, is super user super user this comes from the abstract page user class so model basically uh, and this will be also true so that uh, he will be declared as super user and we are again going to save this uh, save this user by using these two things so save the user and return the user so our user manager is also ready to summarize this video we have already created our, our project uh, installed the necessary packages and set them up then we have created our user model and we have also created our user manager for that model. So in the next video, we are going to create our serializers and we will also try to create our view set and write the logic for implementing the OTP and also try to cover up the view set and we'll also try to write the entire logic behind the OTP. So make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share. See you in the next one.